Well, hello everybody and welcome back again to our channel. Welcome back to another day in the life. One of the things that we like to do is we like to go during the week to various uh, places of interest to us. We like to do a lot of our shopping during the week. We like to do a lot of our just out and about in town during the week. If we can avoid it, we will avoid it on the weekends. We'll avoid going to those places on the weekends because more people will be there on the weekends and we don't have to be there. And frankly, our weekends are uh, centered around our church. So for that reason, we try to go during the week. Well, as you all know, this weekend is Valentine's Day. So happy Valentine's Day. And I hope that you're sharing Valentine's Day with someone that means the world to you and uh, you feel like they're the greatest gift from God for you in your life. I hope that's the case for each of you. Certainly I can say that and I love my wife. She is the single greatest gift God ever gave to me personally. Simeon's the greatest gift that God has given to us collectively. So having said all of that, we celebrated Valentine's Day early. We went to one of our favorite places, L.L. Bean in Freeport, Maine. Haven't been there since we came back from Georgia. And that was very good. Actually, here in Maine, it's always nice when you can walk, believe it or not, because it gets so cold and it's so weather ridden out there sometimes. Um, during the winter, uh, you just really don't feel like getting out and walking. So actually going to a store like this, and getting the chance to walk is actually a blessing. <laughs> it was so much fun. We had so much fun. That's what this video is all about. It's us going to L.L. Bean. So sit back, relax, and enjoy our day in the life. our YouTube channel we are in the wonderful store of LL Bean and we're just making a day of it we're gonna have a fun filled day and we wanted to come out to LL Bean because we have some coupons that we want to spend and one of them expires soon so we'll bring you guys along for our day of free Try 
Watch where you're going. Oh, Lord. Good. Yeah, he did exactly what you did, you know. Uh, careful. Oh. Good job, buddy. <laughs> All right, buddy. Woo. Are you ready to see the moose? Yes, I'm going to interject in here a few times to sort of talk us through the video. After we played around in the children's section where you can buy children's clothes, as you saw, we asked Simeon, would you like to go see the moose? I want to tell you right up front, I'm not showing you all of this store. And on top of that, Ella Bean has a multitude of stores, not just this one. They have a home store, a complete separate building uh, that focuses on home and home interior options and you know bedding they have a kayaking and a biking section that's separate from this particular building that you're seeing we really didn't do all of that in this video we really just stayed in the central main store where the boot is anyway after Simeon had played around after he had ridden and pulled the wagon and we'd walked around and talked around and had a good time we went over to the hunting section Simeon what's above you what's that He just said it. Fishy! <laughs> He's the one that made note of it. Okay, let me interject right here. That shirt that I just videoed, usually when I see a shirt like that, the first thing I say, Panama shirt. The reason I say that, when I see a shirt that looks like it would be very well suited for the country of Panama, as you know, uh, we do missions in Panama, connected to a board, and uh, so forth down there. And whenever I see a shirt that speaks to me and says, this would be great for Panama, I usually call it a Panama shirt. Well, my friends, you are looking at a Panama shirt. <laughs> What's so important about a Panama shirt? Well, for me personally, I need a long sleeve shirt to protect me from the sun, because the sun down there, obviously you're closer to the equator, and in literally just minutes, you can be fried and I need a shirt that's going to protect me from the sun. I need a shirt that is going to dry quickly. All right, so this particular shirt you're looking at, I checked it out. I'm very particular about the materials. Um, I love cotton, love to wear cotton, but when I am on the boat, a short story. So I did a mission trip one time with a dear friend of mine. He and I were on a Cayuco, which is basically like an extended canoe, maybe 30 feet long maybe 20, 20, 30 feet long and about four feet wide. It's a huge hollowed out wooden shell with some extra wood planking along the sides. We were on that Cayuca with a 9.9 .9 horsepower engine and several Kuna brothers, some dear friends of ours. And we were on that particular Cayuca for five days, uh, traversing islands in the ocean. <laughs> and that thing was so slow and it was a hold out wooden log so you had all of the waves doing you like this but the boat was not stable so it would do this so you had this whole motion going on it was it was absolutely atrocious but i survived it i'm here today well this is my favorite island my father is coming in, in here to marry me. Oh, yeah? yeah. <laughs> now we, my father is coming in here to marry me. out that coconut hole so that he can get to it.
greatest missions trips I've ever taken. We had the greatest time uh, ministering to the locals and uh, visiting and so forth. And I'll take you all on that one day. Um, I do plan to show you all of that uh, in the future. In fact, I plan to go to Panama this year because I'm doing a lot of island work and uh, mixing and mingling with the island and the ocean and water and so forth and so on. I usually pick out shirts for Panama that are very quick drying because you get wet and it needs to be dried. Also, where we go on these islands are very primitive. If you have to clean your clothes, you need to wash them by hand, obviously. They don't have running water a lot of times on these islands and uh, they just have rainwater that they've collected or something or well water that they brought in somehow, some way. You basically do like a a, a bucket bath <laughs> but if you want to wash your clothes of course you can by hand and if you're gonna wear them the next day you really need them to dry quickly so I always look for clothes that are polyester nylon that sort of material that dries really quickly kind of like what you would think of as an Under Armour shirt well anyway this is a good Panama shirt that's all I'm saying a lot of story there just to say this is a Panama shirt it was such a perfect Panama shirt that I videoed the bad boy He said, quack, quack. He said, quack, quack. You see the bear and the deer? I guess that is. Uh huh. One of my favorites right here, the musk ox. I just love this animal. So after we had taken inventory of what they had to offer and demonstrate there in the hunting section, we made our way back through and came to the aquarium. What do you see, buddy? See fishies. See fishies. You see fishy? <laughs> wow. Wow, let's go look closer. Yeah, that's a big trout, buddy. Yeah. Fish. Fish. Oh, Another fishy. Fishy. Uh, and then you see them in the aquarium. Yeah. Bye, bye, fish. Yeah. Got all up to that seat by himself, sat down. Fish a good boy. Bye bye, fish. Bye bye, fish. Bye bye. That's your favorite. <laughs> he loves lemonade. He loves lemons in general. Good, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> We're at the 1912 Cafe, is what it's called, and it's a cafe right here in Yellow Bean Store near the hunting and fishing section. So, we just needed to get a little refreshing drink. Right? Drink. Don't tip it. Remember? Get wet.
I always splurge on Cheyenne. It's the funniest thing ever. She has no idea what's in this bag. Cheyenne and the baby stayed in the car. They came back out to the car and I went back inside to L.L. Bean and was able to pick up some Valentine's gift plural not so plural plural <laughs> <laughs> after i was able to pick up some gifts for cheyenne we made our way back to augusta which is about a 40 minute drive after my wife got out of target we ate our valentine's dinner at texas roadhouse and we love that restaurant and i'm sure if you've ever eaten there you probably do too but needless to say i did take my wife out for a, a valentine's dinner and after we ate of course we came back home as we're closing the video today uh, I want to show you Simeon. Sometimes he just comes alive at night. We're going to say goodbye. Thank you uh, so much for watching, and uh, we hope that you have subscribed. We hope that you like the video. Until the next time, we'll see you again soon. God bless. Mama? Mama? Daddy? Hey, Simeon. Oh, Simeon!